Hi everyone, I'm Marbas here. Welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4. So, let's continue where we left off. And before I declare war on Ayutthaya, I'm actually going to build a few more light ships. I have no idea how big their fleet is, but I'm nowhere close to my naval force limit. So if I build a few more light ships, I should be able to win any naval engagements, hopefully. And more light ships are always useful to protect trade. So that's the plan for now. And I can fabricate one more claim while I wait for the ships on this province right here. So let's do that. Like so. That will take a year. This province has my culture actually. And my religion, Sony. So I definitely want that. Gain shader. Okay, whatever. Actually, can I hire one more advisor? Administrative advisor. Minus three national unrest. I wouldn't mind that guy. Yeah, I think I'll hire him. That should be fine. I'm getting 2.90 per month. No problem. Grab that guy. Alright. Now we wait for the light ships. And for the claim. This should be enough, hopefully. I could recruit an admiral just to make sure. But I don't know how many ships Ayutthaya has. I'll recruit an admiral if I have to. Gain piety. Okay, just wait for that claim now. It's almost done. 90%. How many light ships is this? 19. Okay, I got the claim. I see two heavy ships in here. Some light ships here. More light ships here. Well, we'll see. They have at least 10. 10 to 15. Let's just declare war and we'll find out. Doesn't really matter which province I pick. Alright, let's go for this one. And I'll siege both at once. And I will blockade their port. Obviously. Okay, how many do they have? I see 10 right here. I can handle that. Okay, 16. I saw 16 for a moment. Let's slow down to speed 4. Speed 5 is a little bit too much. Okay, 16. 8 light ships, 2 heavy ships. I can handle that even without an admiral. Wait, no, these were my transports, right? Wrong fleet. No problem. This should be fairly easy to win. I don't see myself having problems with that. Let's go siege some more provinces. Yeah, I'll win this easily. Then I can blockade all the things. Yep, I'm winning. There we go. Now I can blockade the port. With my transports, I suppose. And send my large ships to protect trade. So blockade this. And I have one heavy ship, apparently. Okay, whatever. But the heavy ship should stay here. No, not you. You should go protect trade. Off you go, then. Get some repairs first, that's fine. Split this. And now I wait for my siege progress. Okay, that's a lot of... ...regiments. Okay. That might be interesting. I need Lan Zhang to help me here. Daiviet joined in. Daiviet, Pego. Okay, they do actually have a pretty big army there. But I still think I can handle that with Lan Zhang's help. I can let them fight each other for now. I'll go attack them once I'm done with all these sieges. These are the provinces I need. So I'll finish that and then go help. That's a pretty big army. Their general is average. Yeah, Lan Zhang is going to lose this fight. Now I could go help them. Or at least attack Ayutthaya while their morale is fairly low. Alright, let's actually go do it. I need to hurry up though, because they will recover. And I'll need to bring my leader, obviously. My leader is not amazing. Only one in shock. That's not great. 
it will have to be enough. I should be able to win this. I won't get any penalties. Yeah, I'll win this easily. Yep. And try to chase them down, if possible. That would definitely be helpful. Let's slow this down a bit more. Another siege is done. How's the war score? Only 6% so far. Let's try to chase them down. Come on. Go, go, go. Nope. Not fast enough. Oh, I know what they are doing. They want to break my siege. I don't think so, buddy. Not if I have anything to say about it. 0% siege progress. Gain 50 military power at the cost of inflation. Yeah, fine. I can handle a little bit of extra inflation. I'm at around 9 to 10%. They are not moving anymore. Alright. That's fine. I should be able to beat them easily. There we go. That shouldn't be a problem anymore. Chase them down. Where are they going? North. What's this guy doing? I'll just follow them. Come on. What's this? Hide and seek? In that case, I win. <laughs> there we go. That should take care of it. And more war score for me, because why not? Still waiting for that siege. Now question is, how much war score do I want to go for? I could break them up by getting Ayutthaya to release some nations. That's not a terrible idea, I suppose. I could go for 100% if I want to. That should be fairly easy to get. Yeah, I can't imagine. That will be hard. It's just a matter of waiting for siege progress, really. Another fight. I'm still at 17,000 manpower. Alright, let's siege these provinces. Like this. Also send these guys here. Alright, now we wait. For siege progress, speed this up. Let's just carpet siege a few more. Split this, split this. I don't think they have any army left. I killed all their troops. 36%. I might just go for 100. Or close to 100 at least. Not sure if I want to wait for all of these. Nice regiment, bro. What exactly are you doing? He wants to resiege his provinces. How cute. Come back here. Alright, back we go. Let's siege this one as well. Nope. I can't. Like this. That should work. Yep, that works. I can probably siege one more, maybe. One of these provinces to the north. Peace offer with Dai Viet. Okay. They are negotiating for themselves. They will cancel all their shitties with Ayutthaya. They will pay me 16 gold. Yeah, I'll accept this. I don't care about Dai Viet all that much. I care about Ayutthaya. Well, now we just wait for the siege progress. And that's pretty much it. This war was actually easier than I anticipated. So I want both of these provinces. These are great because they are both my culture and they are both Sunni. So that's awesome. These are like the last two Sunni provinces that I don't own. After that everything is Buddhist or Hindu. So that will be slightly more annoying. Okay, siege. I think I can siege this one as well. I probably can. Nope. Well, yeah, I can. Lead these guys up. Everything is being sieged. New technology? What's this? Oh yeah, I finished my annexation. Good, good. That was Brunei, right? Yep, that was Brunei. 
What did I get? What's this? One heavy ship and four light ships. Okay, that's not too bad. Let's merge these light ships, maybe. Where are they? Navies. These. I gain a core, okay. I have quite a lot of light ships now. That's what, 22? Trade this build, Casus Belli, against Ming. Yeah, I don't think I want to go to war with Ming. Probably not. <laughs> Ming is pretty big and scary right now. Yeah. I definitely don't want to go to war with them. Not anytime soon. They will hopefully fall apart, eventually. Because that's what happens quite often. But that won't be happening anytime soon, I don't think so. I'll just finish all these sieges. Another one. That's 60%. Another one. 68%. Should be fast now. Come on guys, hurry up. And... Oh, I failed my mission. Right, that's because I was losing money. Take Thalang. That's the province I'm going to annex during this war. So I should accept this mission. I'm not sure which one this is. Alright, 25 admin points. Accept. What are these guys doing up here? Oh, was that Brunei? That might have been it. I don't remember sending any troops to dive yet. I certainly didn't do it. Might have been Brunei. Well, just waiting for one more. Get money or get prestige. I'll take the money, especially since I just had to take a loan. Repay this stupid loan then. I am losing 11 gold per month. That's not great. That's mostly because I'm way over my force limit. In fact, I should disband these regiments. That's way too much. I should disband a few more. 31 out of 24. Can I consolidate anything? Probably not, because I didn't even lose much. Yeah, I'll just disband some infantry. Mostly infantry. I don't want to disband cavalry. So these guys. How's that? 29 out of 24. That's fine. I just don't want another loan. Help them out. 84%. I'd like 100. Let's wait for that last siege. Oh no, this is a separate war, is it? Yeah, it is. Right. The Khmer declared their own war. Alright. I could wait for their war to end. That's not a terrible idea. And then get 100%. I already get 86, so might as well wait for 100, I think. I see no reason not to do it. Alright, let's wait for 100. Minus 10% idea cost. For 5 years. Okay, not bad. I like that. Oh, right. I'm also at war with Pego because that's their ally. I should go attack them then. And siege them. I totally forgot about that part. Who else am I at war with? That one province to the north. But I can't go there because I don't have military access. Alright, let's just go attack Pego. I want 100%. This should be easy enough. 90%. I might have to siege something. That's definitely a possibility. Oh well. 94. Oh. Okay, the Khmer pieced out. Should be easy enough now. 94. I'm waiting for 100. I see no reason not to do it. Admin tech, yep. Grab that. Send everything here. Actually, I shouldn't. Because attrition. <laughs> Come on, guys, hurry up. 95%. Give me 100. I should blockade that, actually. That's definitely a good idea. Peace offer from Ayothaya. I don't think so, buddy. Do I have maxed 
Opinion here already? No, I don't. Actually, I might have penalties. I only have minus 25 penalty. Alright, keep improving. Come on, hurry up with this siege. 35, where's my leader? Right here. Send him to help then. He has one siege? No, zero siege. I thought he had one siege or something, but no. Gain piety but lose admin points. I don't want to lose admin points. Also, I don't want another loan either. Oh, really? Well, looks like I have to take a loan. Oh, well, whatever. Not the end of the world. 98%? Give me 100 already. Do I really have to wait for this stupid siege? 99%. No, not interested. Come on, 100. You can do it. One tiny little percent. Come on, guys. Peace offer from Pego. They are negotiating for themselves. I can accept this. So let's accept that. Come on. Don't make me wait for this siege. This might give me 1%. Come on. Nope. 99. I might have to wait for this siege. Alright. If you say so. We can wait for that. There we go. Really? That's still not 100? How is this not 100? Whatever, I'm not going to wait for 1%. What? Lost 1 prestige? Wait, what? That's interesting. Integrate them. Yeah. Okay, that was a weird event that I didn't expect. Okay, 100. I got a province for free. Can't complain about that. Let's see. I can annex two provinces. Can I get them to release anything? Yes. And I probably want to. I can't get them to release both. But this makes sense. I can get them to cancel their alliance. But that's just a one province nation. Not a big deal. I can get some money. The more the better. 65. I think this is good. I can make them revoke their core. If I care enough about that, which I don't. Shame I can't get enough. To make them release both these nations. Well, I might as well get them to cancel these deals. War reparations. Oh yeah, 10% of their income each month. And this will last for 10 years. I like that. Give up claim. I suppose so. Nope, not enough. I'll go for war reparations then. Alright, that will cost me 86%. And I can get them to cancel the alliance. Not that I really care about that alliance, but... Alright, that's the deal. Send. And it's done. Nice. And that gives me 25 admin. From the mission. And in your missions. Insult a rival. I can do that. Create a core. Let's pick this up. Because that's easy mission. Instant points basically. Instant 25 military power. Can't say no to that. Create a core in this province for 10 admin points. Okay. I mean, I'm about to do that anyway. So do this. This is already my core? Yeah, this is already my core. And this one. Logs gone. Us are unrest. 0.1%. That shouldn't really be a problem then. Yeah, that won't be a problem. Let's move back here. So that was nice and quick war. I got some new territory. But any more provinces I take will be non sunny unfortunately. Ming's opinion of Malacca changed by minus 25. Or plus 25. But 
I will lose power in Canton. I don't really care about that. No, I don't. Why would I? Let's get extra opinion with Ming. I don't plan going to war with Ming. In predictable future. But hey, I might do it eventually. So how long will this course take? Shouldn't take too long. Can I annex my vassal yet? I should be able to do it. No? Oh, I don't have 190. Okay. Can I get real marriage? I can. So let's get that. Oh yeah, my diplomat is still there, working on it. Alright. Carry on then, 135. So, I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon.